Well, you know, so far between 2022 and 2023, I've sold several tractors. I don't remember if I bought any in 2022. I might have bought my ST12 in 2022, or maybe that was in 2021. I can't remember. But I just picked up this pretty decent condition 1968 Suburban 12. It's a little worse for the wear, but it's not horrible. Um, the tires are pretty much junk. They got lots and lots of cracks in them. Um, the rims aren't rotted though. It needs a drive belt. It's missing this side uh, cover for the frame. You can tell the motor's been leaking oil for a very long time. The frame is completely covered in oil. Not a big deal. Uh, it's missing this little <laughs> grill piece here. The plow that's on this is kind of interesting. It's definitely partially a Sears dozer blade, like the actual mule drive part. Looks like it's probably a Sears mule drive and it has like part of the original crescent lift piece with the handle on it, but it's kind of boogered up. So I'm gonna fix that. I have the, uh, the snow blower lift frame. I'm not exactly sure what this plow came off of, but it's pretty heavy duty. And it does have a sear sticker on it so maybe it's off of like a 1980s like late late 70s or early 80s like an lt36 or something i don't know but it's pretty good size i mean it's like a probably a 42 inch blade not bad it's heavy it's got a nice cutting edge on it so that'll probably do something with i don't know if i'll sell it got the uh belt cover on here um otherwise i mean it's not horrible shape the pan seat's not rotted. It's a little rusty on the bottom. It's got the steering wheel, the center cap, the ignition, everything's still in it. And it came with a mower deck, which this mower deck was actually mine a few years ago. So the whole, the tractor, I got it off of a, a kind of acquaintance slash buddy of mine. I've known the kid for quite a few years. He's going through some rough times right now, has a whole bunch of old cars and stuff at his house, and he needs to sell it all so he can sell his house, um, so he needed to get rid of it. I got it for a decent deal. I mean, it wasn't like the best price ever. The deck shell is not in too bad shape. I'm gonna have to go through it again. I had gone through this at one point and it was working well. The pulleys and everything still turn. So I think it'll be usable. It's a 48 inch mower deck. I don't really have a use for a 48 inch mower deck only because they're really heavy. But if somebody needs a 48 inch mower deck, I will have one up for sale at some point soon. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll go through it, make sure it's at least spinning and working with the belt that's on it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload this guy and maybe get some little bit more video of it once I get it off the truck. And I'll probably try to take the dozer blade off of it so I can see what I got going on there. But yeah, it's my first tractor purchase of 2023 it is now i think april 20th or april 21st right now i think it's the 20th but not a, too bad of a purchase um and the main reason i wanted this one is because i have another 68 in the garage that i was working on fixing up that i had bought from a guy like four or five years ago for 100 bucks but that one had had two or three motors put in it so the front frame is all swiss cheese under where the motor was and I took the nose and hood off and put it on one of my ST12s that I took to plow day. And that one now is probably just going to end up being parts. I need the rear end out of it. And I'll probably just strip whatever's left off of the frame and just keep it for parts. But this one is worth cleaning up. It's not quite in as good shape, the rear half of the frame, as the other one is. But I think with a little elbow grease and some maybe some scotch Brite or something like that, I'll be able to clean it up quite a bit. Maybe repaint the hood, maybe leave it alone. It's got some, you know, it's got some rust on it, some patina, as they say, patina. Uh, but it's got a little bit of character. Supposedly it runs. Alright. 
get a better look at this thing. Yep. Well, would you look at that? Well, would you look at that? Yeah, there's a few more blemishes on the car. The oh car, my gosh, just car, look at it. Would you just look at that? Uh, hmm. Hard for me to tell, but this might be a new style head. Looks like it's off one of the newer HH120. It has the little tabbies that go over here for the new style uh, cooling tin. It has the original carburetor on it, which could be good or bad. Gas tank's not all rotted out, which is a blessing. Hmm. Hmm. Gas doesn't even taste bad. Not terrific, but. See if we got any uh, corns of the A variety in here. You know, acorns or something like that. The battery is completely flat. Oh, look at there. Not too bad. Hmm, pretty clean. Mm hmm. Yep. Well, maybe I just got to put a pair of jump her cables on it and see if she runs. It's got the old style gas, glass, gas bowl on it. The ignition switch seems to turn over. Ooh, I might have to do something about that uh, battery cable there. Might be part of the reason why it doesn't want to crank over, but that one's kind of loose. That one's pretty much non-existent. But yeah, that battery's completely dead. Hmm. Well, let me see. Maybe I'll pull another tractor over here and throw some jumper cables on it and see how she goes. Dip. She runs. I had to change the starter generator belt because that was a half inch belt and it was making problems with it, but uh, she runs on her own. The fuel bowl leaks a little bit, but that's just washing the grease off, you know. It smoked quite a bit when I first started it up. It actually runs pretty Good. I was going to change the motor, but I'm not so sure I want to now. Let's take her out for a little burn.
smoking and knowing that the motor leaks a lot of oil, I'm probably still going to change it. I mean, you can... Kind of tough to see, but that it's just chuffing smoke. You know, I feel a lot better about my purchase now. You never know with these things. I mean, the fuel bowl constantly drips, but that's just washing the grease off of the frame, so that's not a big deal. Put the correct starter belt on here, and the thing cranked over way faster. Um, yeah, I mean, the brakes work. The transmission feels nice and tight. I mean, I paid 360 bucks for the tractor, the deck, and the plow. And I think I did pretty good. Anytime you get a machine that you can get running with a little bit of grandpa's special whiff medicine, you know, some little starting fluid, and then, you know, jumper cables, that's all it took. I took the glass bowl off, and that's probably why it's leaking, because the it has like a paper gasket on top of it, and it's probably really old. Um, but the headlights don't work yet. I mean, that just might be poor connections. It might need a voltage regulator. I don't know. But I think what I'm going to do with this guy is pull the motor out of it, pull the wiring and stuff out of it, probably rewire it. I have a points motor that was in my other 68 that I already did a head gasket on. That carburetor is in much better shape. So I think I'm going to transplant that motor into this one. And just tidy some stuff up, put a new drive belt on it, you know, clean all that grease up off the frame. Maybe hit this with, uh, I don't know, some either a steel wool or not steel wool, but like scotch Bright and some soap or, I don't know, just car wash stuff and clean it up real good. And then the hood, I don't know, maybe I'll just uh, lightly sand it down and hit it with some satin clear. I mean, the dash and everything is just a little bit corroded but overall it's really not in bad shape and the shift decal is not too bad 9172535 is the model number 68 suburban 12 i got wheel weights and tires for this thing i got a three-point hitch for this thing i probably have some better front tires to put on it i mean i got oh you know I have a brand new set of rib tires that I bought high runs from tractor supply that I could put on some wheels, but I got those front tires. I got, I should put these on it. These are cool. These are old Firestone tires. I could kind of, I got to put new wheel bearings in those, um, wheels, but I could put those on. And then I have a couple of different sets of rear tires I could put on and I got to dig around, but honestly, I'm almost out of rear tires. This is, I'm kind of glad I got this because now I get some tires that I can throw on any other machine I sell because these are pretty dry rotted. Or I'll just pull the tires off and keep the rims. I don't know. But I get another set of narrow front rims, which is always cool too. And uh, the PTO assembly and stuff on this was originally from me. Always nice to get that back. Um, you know, it drags a little bit on the bolts, but I can fix that stuff easily enough. Yeah, so really it's not a bad machine. I mean, it's got tons of acorns and leaves in it, but been sitting outside for five or six years what do you expect and i'll make a new cover for right here or try to find one maybe lj ball or somebody has one on facebook and i gotta try to find a little screen a 68 screen because they're unique but i'll see if i can dig one of those up too and i got the belt cover for this side so i am pretty tickled pink over this machine probably repaint that seat yeah not a bad deal not at all the plow i mean i showed you pictures of it already i took it off but i could probably fix this easily the only thing that happened is this weld right here that allows it to pivot broke otherwise i mean realistically the plow works 
it's not pretty but i was thinking also i have an old school snowblower lift over here that i could probably hook up with that it's in a little bit better shape figure out how to make that guy work with some of that bracketry we'll see anyway that's gonna do it for this little video here another tractor in the cranky motorsports stable yeah i know i gotta get to the bel air soon it's been bugging me but this little guy runs and drives drives pretty good I'll clean it up, do a little maintenance to it, and then it'll be ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Check you out next time.